So, you want to grow Carolina Reapers. Whether that be to make hot sauce that'll burn a hole in your stomach, or permanently blinding pepper spray, or whatever. Here's how to do it. Start with some quality potting mix. I get mine at a local big box store. It should be light and fluffy and contain perlite and peat moss. I pre-moisten the soil by pouring some water onto it and mixing it up. Grab yourself a seed tray and fill it with the mix. Oh, and check out the description for everything I'm using in this video. You're gonna need a grow light setup for once the reaper seeds start to germinate. And there are so many inexpensive LED options on Amazon, but I'm using the Spider Farmer SF600 model. Creepy name, I know, but it works great. Plunk a temperature probe into the soil to monitor soil warmth. Reaper seeds sprout best at a temperature of around 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. This probe is actually made for reptile enclosures, but it works fantastic for this purpose. A seedling heat mat under your tray will warm up the soil to that optimal level for juicy germination. Carolina Reaper seeds are critical, of course. I saved these from last year's crop, but you can order them online from various websites. Now dig a small shallow hole in the center of each cell. I chuck a couple seeds in each as backup in case they don't all sprout. Cover the gnarly deaf pepper embryos with a smidge of mix and mist with a spray bottle. This will settle in the seeds and give them the moisture they need to activate. Encapsulate the tray with a plastic cover to induce a tropical environment that'll get your reapers popping. After 7 to 14 days, your reapers should be rearing their ghastly heads. Pinch out the weakest seedlings, giving the strongest one room to grow. And about 3 weeks after sowing, they'll look like this. Give them another couple weeks under their artificial sun, and this is what you'll see. These are the first true leaves, and around this point, it's time to pull out the party cups. What? No, we're not playing beer pong here. We're going to give these suckers a nice new home. Pop the reapers out, plop them into the cups, and fill with mix. Too easy. Transplanting, that's the name. Plastic cups are cheap and they work just as well as nursery containers. Just make sure to cut drainage holes. Settle them in with a nice drink and they might just thank you. After all, you're doing your seedlings a huge favor by giving them extra room to stretch out their roots. After a little over two months of maintaining your reaper seedlings with nothing more than a good soak every week or so, you'll have a small army of potent pepper producing potentials. I just love the shiny leaves and purple veins of these reapers. They've got a real tropical look to them, and that's no coincidence. They originated from the tropics. Gradually introduce them to the outdoors once it begins to warm up outside. Take the plants back inside after a couple hours and increase their outdoor exposure daily. This will toughen them up and prepare them for the transition into the garden. A few weeks after your area's last frost date, it's time to plant out. Choose a spot in your garden that gets full sun and prepare the site by mixing in some nutrient-rich ingredients, such as compost, compost and manure, bone meal, alfalfa meal, and so on. I like to add some ground eggshells or a calcium-based general fertilizer to boost calcium levels, which will help plant structure and prevent your peppers from end rot. Grab your plant, set it in place, and backfill the hole. Fortunately, reapers are not very demanding plants. Just make sure to give them a good drink now and then and feed them every couple weeks with a water-soluble fertilizer that's high in phosphorus and potassium and lower in nitrogen. You shouldn't have to worry about insect or animal pests with these plants. About three months later, your reapers will be loaded with beautiful magma red pods ready for harvest. You can see that these plants are very productive when grown in containers as well, and they'll make a great conversation piece in your yard or on the balcony. Just be careful what you do with these things, as they really are sinister. Do yourself a favor and don't be like this guy. Is everyone ready? Yeah. One, three, two, one. <laughs> I feel better if I throw up. Should I just do it? I could throw up, but I try. Yeah, I'm gonna throw up. Congratulations, you now know how to grow your very own Carolina Reaper Super Hot Peppers. If you found this video useful, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Until next time, grow it best.